It is often necessary to find the product of two binomials. The product can be found by using a method called FOIL, which is based on the distribution property. F stands for first. The first two terms in the binomial are multiplied together. So in this case, we would end up with AC for the product of the first terms. O is for the outer terms. And the outer terms here are the first and the last that are multiplied together. A times D is the result of our outer terms multiplied together. I is for the inner terms. And the inner terms multiplied together would be here, B times C, and L for the last step in the distribution of these two binomials is for the last terms multiplied together. Multiplying B times D results in B, D, the last terms multiplied together. Let's take a look then using the FOIL method on a couple of examples. Multiplying these binomials, I'm going to begin with first terms multiplied together. 2x times x is 2x to the power of 2. Outside terms multiplied together, or the outer terms, 2x times 5 results in a 2 times 5, 10x. I for the inner terms multiplied together, positive 3 times x, positive 3x, and L for the last terms multiplied together, positive 3 times positive 5 is positive 15. Simplifying by combining like terms, we have no similar term to the x squared, but positive 10 and 3 make 13x with the constant term of 15. One more example using the FOIL method. F for first terms multiplied together, x times 2x is 2x to the second power. O for outer terms multiplied together, x times negative 5 is a negative 5x. I for inner terms multiplied together, negative 3 times 2x is a negative 6x. And L for last terms, negative times negative is positive, 3 times 5 is 15. If you look at the pattern besides the F, the O, the I, and the L, we have non-intersecting loops and intersecting loops as a way of also ensuring that we've done the correct distribution of the binomial by a binomial multiplication. Simplifying here, we have no term to add to the x squared, but negative 5x plus a negative 6x, using the rule of subtraction, results in a negative 11x plus that constant term of 15 for our final answer.